All right, guys, they're playing Pantheon top lane on today's video. We're playing Pantheon versus a Twisted Fate top lane. And for the runes, we have Conquer this time, Triumph, Alacrity, Last End, specifically uh, Cheapshot, and also Relentless Hunter. So this game, we're going to be 1v9ing versus TF. And it's going to be an exciting one because every time that he's going to basically get inside auto range, he's going to get inside my W range. So in my opinion, it's a very free matchup. This one can't go wrong. I can charge up my uh, my autos very easily too. Then spam my Q all day. Could maybe throw it though, but... Okay. I'm gonna throw it next time. This guy's like... Oh, okay. It's like a China space between uh, the range of my W and his auto. So I don't get to hit it. Smart guy. He's playing it aggressive. TF top lane is so interesting because like despite the nerves, it's still very strong. <laughs> so despite him playing it so well, I'm just playing Pantheon top lane and that's pretty much all I had to do. <laughs> Nice. Not respecting my, uh, my Q range. And we just pushed it out and never very happy. I have seen so many people playing TF top lane. And I have never lost even once into a TF top lane. I've ran into it like at least four times in like the past month or so. And I just can't lose against it. I, I know like, TF, like TF is... It's just pretty much being played everywhere at the moment. I know that, like he's being played in bot lane, despite the nerfs, he's being played in mid, top. It's been nerfed like a month ago. People still play it, but I just don't lose against it. No matter how well they play it, I never lose. So yeah, I don't know. You gotta try really hard though. Like if, if I'm running Pantheon and he tries to get into auto range, I'm always going to hit my stun, so. It's uh, pretty much un uh, unplayable for him. <laughs> no problem, I'll just charge back up. Nice. Alright, let's try again. Well, okay, alright. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> I mean, like, you're, like, if, if we're going for his traits and, like, we're both equally doing a lot of damage, if he gets, like, extremely low on health, then my Q is basically going to be even stronger and it's going to apply even more damage. So, like, whatever, bro. We are going to take these traits and I'll end up winning it. My Q is very broken. Like, it does a lot of damage. Better not underestimate it. And it's honestly way too easy to proc as well. So I'm gonna make sure this wave gets like under my tower. Uh, trying to let the wave completely die on its own. So that TF is not getting anything. Oh, clean. Still have a potion, I'll use it now. Oh, there's no way that actually worked out. <laughs> Unbelievable. I definitely hit him. Hmm. <laughs> this game is so unfair. <laughs> the way how the early game is going. It is absolutely unfair. All right, let's uh, let's push this out the entire way, and then we're good to go. Nice. Yeah, find another way to shove this part as well. I don't mind if he's going to freeze the wave. Like, so be it. There's not really much we can do about it. Okay. 
he doesn't decide to freeze it, which is understandable. He would be taking a ton of damage if he did, and then I could just kill him the next time. <clears throat> I've gotten two potions anyway, despite winning, because I think that the... Uh, I think that sustain's going to help a lot here. He's got two long swords. I'm pretty sure it's going to be one of those, like, like on hit TF builds that's been running recently on everybody. <clears throat> He's like still pushing the wave, so that's that's a good thing for TF. Although I'm really far ahead, I don't think it's going to matter anyways. Ooh, if I hit that one, man. <laughs> Oh, nice sidestepping. I just need one Q. Alright, well, if he gets away, that's okay. I'll just push this out entirely. He will definitely lose the farm. Nice. So, I think what I'm gonna do is... It's likely I'm just going to max my W. It's very um, smart to also max E, but I feel like W is going to be the better option in this game um, with the build I'm running with. Don't have a lot of interest in going for the E max here. I used to go like Q E max a lot, but not, I don't want to do that anymore. And after we push this in completely, let's get my Eclipse real quick. Alright, there you go. Let's see here, he's gonna go for a noon cover. Yeah, so like, just like I expected, it's gonna be one of those TF uh, players that, that actually goes for the, the meta stuff. As expected, I think he are, I think I already know what he's building into. ADTF, it's way to, uh, way to meta, everybody is playing it. And surprisingly enough, I don't understand why people play ADTF top lane. I know it works, but again, I've never seen anybody succeed with this pick against me. Oh, he's actually going to the scan on if he uh, doesn't throw the Q now. No sidestepping. I tried to block him the cannon. That's why I moved forward and hit my Q. Because the cannon was about to go down. I didn't want him to throw the Q into my direction. Let's see what he's going to do. Nice. If all I need is like one W auto Q and that's pretty much it. Yeah, I got him. Pantheon versus TF is absolutely unfair, I'm not gonna lie. Because he just can't poke me ever. We are what we and this is pretty much one thing that goes for a lot of matchups. They're very similar in how they're being played. Ranged matchups often go this way. Oh, my jungle is about to die. I don't have a lot of men anymore, so... How low exactly is he? Wait. Oh, I got another one. I had to use my flash for that stuff. <clears throat> nice. I think I'll probably take the reset here. Because I don't want to die with the, uh, <laughs> the value I have at the moment. It would be very bad if I do. <laughs> So, uh, we're building into Lucidity Boots, and then we're going to go into Likely Sunrise Sky, or we're going to go into Profane Hydra, which is one of my personal favorites. Let's go. I really like uh, Profane Hydra in general right now. It's a really, really good item on a lot of champions. <clears throat> Any champion that can burst people is often a champion that works extremely well with Profane Hydra. Also, like, it improves the, the wave clear dramatically, so if you buy it, you can push top lane, take jungle camps all at the same time. Oh, 
I wonder if I can kill him again. I still haven't used my ultimate, by the way. Not yet. Track to wave to the left side. Killing make that go into the brush. So it actually resets. Uh. Oh, I missed the gun. Whatever, I guess. I got blue buff anyway, so I can keep spamming forever. Did I hit him? Oh, nice. I actually hit him. Okay, fantastic. Nice. Let's keep spamming Q until I kill him again. I'll we'll get him eventually. Hmm. He walks away, and I'm okay with it. He doesn't get to farm anyways. Unfortunate for him. It is not why I fight, but who I fight for. I think he will likely make it back here. But if he does, I got my stacks ready again, so he will lose more farm. I just need to be a little careful because everybody in the entire enemy team is currently missing and they can be top lane. Power will be your undoing. Wait, I'll quickly grab it. So, now we just push, and we're pretty much good to go. I, do not set I think- I'm, I'm thinking of pressing R, but I feel like he will survive. I don't think it's going to work. I don't think so. Never mind. I'm taking my words back. It actually worked out. He didn't expect the Pantheon ult. Does. They didn't expect it. No idea what's going on over here. Okay, we have uh, 200 left to go. So what I'm going to do is I'll just sell my Dorn Shield. And then we can buy it instantly. So now we have two items at 14 minutes in the game. Let's go back top lane. An enemy has been slain. Hmm. That Yasu is actually going to bot lane. Okay, sure. I'll take the I'll take the mid lane for myself. If I don't take that wave, like it's going down under tower and Anipia is not going to get it anyway, so that's why I'm taking the wave. Actually, there is a fight now, so what I could have done was just push another one because Anivia is moving there. Whatever. Could maybe dive the Yasuo under tower? Maybe. Or we, I think I'm just going to stay around here. And we walk away. I'm not really interested, like heavily interested in like trying to fight TF because I think it isn't going to work anyways. Because uh, the TF is just playing way to save. I do have my ult in like 12 seconds, so we can do like a super nice rotation soon. I do think mistakes. that they probably know what I'm doing. Uh, we gotta be careful about Brent. Because Brent can show very easily. I don't know if this is going to work. Okay. Ah, oh, that's a very nice rotation. So we're, we're actually rotating from top to mid. Killing the Oz as well. He wasn't worth as much gold as I hoped. Because he's only 1 in 5. But, you know, if you kill him, he's going to lose the wave anyways. Again, that will push into TF, so he's forced to farm the wave. An enemy has been 
Maybe I can throw like a Q from the wave, but he's still standing too far away. 473? I think I hit it on TF. Pretty sure I did. That was the damage on TF. Or not. Never mind. So apparently he was full HP. Okay. The next item we're going to go with is... I think it's probably going to be a Shoujin. I really like Shoujin as a third item, but also Sun Sky. I think I'm going to go for this one. The art of war is hearing your heart beating. Okay, let's go back oh, top lane. Yeah, like just like I expected, TF is actually going for Static Shiv. That's exactly what I expected. That's the meta, basically. Uh, people go Static Shift and all that stuff on TF. Uh, they build it because you can shove lanes extremely fast with it. You basically get the... It's, it's like Hurricane. You build it and you can just shove extremely fast. Poke your opponent down. Scale. Like, that's why people use it. It's the same reason I buy Hurricane. And also Hydras. Same exact reason. You think that we're about to get some kills up here? Or never mind, our ultimate is terrible. <laughs> I expected Brent to move forward a little bit more. Nope, I hit my R button, he walks away. Fantastic timing. Clean. He's got more movement speed now, he actually finished off the boots. Maybe we can kill the brand. But it's unlikely. This guy is very tanky, actually. Mm, never mind. I'm not interested in fighting brand. I know, like... I know the strength of brand. I know if this guy hits a combo, I'll lose, like... 90% of my HP bar. That's why I'm not, like, interested in trying to fight him. There's too many risks. I, I could like tank up a little bit by using E, of course. But like he's standing like really close to the tower, so it's it's pointless. Let's wait for a better opportunity. Rampage. Mm, wait a second, my teammates are getting wrecked, man. I have no ult. Let's see if I can find a blue buff. Nope. All their camps are gone because I got blue. <laughs> nice. Can't complain. I think I'm not going to take the wave in top. I'm just going to make it look like no one's here and then I'll just jump on TF. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, wait, that's it's probably warded. Yeah. I'll go back. Okay, so if a team fight appears now, I'm gonna try and use ult, try and hit as many people as I can. So I'll have to be a little bit patient. My uh, my team did actually die before, and they've been giving away a lot of, a lot of, a lot of gold. So gotta be careful in this one. I, if I if I actually feed myself somehow, I will give away like a thousand too. It's going to be a challenging one. We've got classics ready. I don't think that TF is going to fall for it, though. Or he does fall for it. Okay. All right, man. I, uh, I thought he was never going to move forward, but he actually did. Very good. I think I might just pick up another wave. I know that the other four people are currently missing. So I'm just taking the wave and then heading back out immediately. They still they still could be here. Yeah. Not surprised. Like I'm like their I'm like their target at the moment because I'm like ward so much. So like chance of them like moving top all like all together is very likely. Wouldn't surprise me. That Jin 
it's in a bad spot. Of course. I'll lose that. No problem. I'm going to pick up the jungle campus while here. We just kind of like keep rotating jungle camps around until we get even further ahead. Like that's the answer. Okay, I'm on my way. Very good. Yeah, I don't think we're getting that much more, but yeah, I don't think so. I don't think they'll turn around. No, they're not. They're not going so. They're baiting. Unless... Never mind. Yeah, you gotta keep in mind that the Syndra is actually ultra fed. It doesn't very look like it, but he, uh, the guy's been like farming shutdowns on my team. He actually has the exact same amount of items like me. Well, it's different now because I can buy my next item, but he was he actually had the same items like me. The climb must be our destination. Okay, let's go. So we need to prioritize Baron right now. Need like the five man, or like before we do actually, we need to get to, we need to take Dragon. It's like fifty. Oh man, I I honestly think that the Ash had a fair chance to like auto back, man. I'm not gonna lie. I'll block that with my E. A very bad team fight, man. Very bad team fight. Dragon spawns in five. And still I press further. TF is a top lane now. So I think we can start it anyways. Like unless Brent shows around. I don't think that they know we're doing it. Okay, let's go. This guy will 100% die. I got the... <laughs> He's trying it. <laughs> the Yasuo failed to dash. He failed to dash. He was trying to like dash across the wall and he actually failed. I love how we're like casually doing like a thousand damage with Q right now. Wait. There's nothing to take anymore. Okay. I need a plant. I'm not going back to base yet. I'll take the plant if yeah, it's there. And then we're just gonna rotate. Nice. There's probably somebody like going to farm top lane. Sintra is actually bot lane, but she has TP. This is worth fighting for. Like, unless there's wards. I did not nah, actually hit nobody, but we can actually start the Baron buff because uh, they are all resetting at the moment. Uh, it depends on if Car6 is going to respond to it. Uh, Car6 doesn't seem to respond. Car6 is going... 1 versus 5? What? And he dies and then... What? I ping, I ping Baron for my jungler. The jungler ignores it and goes 1v9 instead. He dies and then surrenders the game. All right, man. An enemy has been slain. And I...
I'm outside old range. I regret my back port. I hit nobody. Okay. Okay. Sundered Sky it is. Uh, next item is going to be a Black Beaver. I can also go for a Guardian's Angel, but I don't think I need it. Yep, as expected, he has this item now. More, more attack speed. Longer autos. From the skies, they see war. But on Earth, there is only carnage. I am ready to uh, absolutely delete somebody off of this map. Like, I'm ready for it. Hmm. Doesn't seem like anybody's interested in the jungle. Okay. Well, I just trolled. I'm blocking everything. Goodbye. I still have my E available. I'm not going to die by anybody. Hmm. Oh, GG, I guess. They will be spawning now. It's focusing me. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> right. No problem there, no problem. So I'm uh, I'm thinking about going for Black Beaver, and the only reason why is partially because of the effect, but they are they aren't really that tanky. But the item itself does give 20 ability haste, HP, and damage, and that, that's like all the things that I need on one on the on the champ. So despite them not having as much like tankiness, I'm going for it anyways. You can of course also go Edge of Night, but. I don't like Edge of the Night, not here, because it doesn't provide ability haste. I won't just uh, throw my Qs all day. Use the stun as much as possible. Wait. I'll go potion. <laughs> How many times must I die? Uh, quick question, why not some MR items against Brands and your TF? It's because I want damage, bro. <laughs> Who cares about magic resist? <laughs> We're living in season 14, man. Everything in this game nowadays can kill everybody in, in one ability. That's season 14. Okay. Let's do this. Just need to wait for the perfect opportunity. It's okay. I can, I can, I can get the stacks back. That's fine. Yeah, right. I knew that was going to happen. So Baron spawns in like one in twenty, which means we just have to wait. Oh, I'm gonna get. Oh, this is gonna be a fun time. <laughs> oh. You know, I got stunned for like almost five seconds. Okay. I regret using my E.
My teammates can throw very easily here now because I'm actually dead. Absolutely my bad. I hope that my teammates don't throw it. Okay. Um, yeah. I actually very much regret like dying and balling. I very much do. If I'm dead, my teammates will also just int. I would like, despite the Kha'Zix being like 16 kills this game, like he's been consistently dying as well. So he's like f constantly, he's getting fed and then like feeding away the gold and then doing this in repeat for the whole game. Kind of a scary one. I think they might be doing it. No, they're not doing it. I wonder if they would actually figure out. Oh, yeah, they definitely know. They have vision. I hope that my teammates will follow, uh, follow along. Jin is actually going to die. Oh, uh, swapping around. Yeah, I need my teammates to move up here. Because the enemy team is kind of forced to, like, farm the, farm the lane out. Ka-6 doesn't respond ever? Uh, Ka-6 is missing another opportunity. I need Ka-6 here. We don't have a jungler, like... Fortunately, we're still getting Baron buff because the enemy team is making an even bigger mistake, but... Our jungler, I think his pings are being turned off or something. I don't know what it is, but... He doesn't seem to notice anything. Amazing. Yeah, I think that this game should be over right now, like, unless somehow they can 3 versus 2 this. Ash should... Oh man, I'm typing to the Ash to, like, go for it. It's 3 versus 2, my teammate can just win. Yo, my, my, if my support just moved up, this game would be over right now. I'm not gonna lie. I think my teammates still got this one or not. Yeah. My Ash just backported when it could have been over. Tough match. My Cossix doesn't want to go for Baron buffs, completely ignores everything, and my support just runs another direction, even though I'm like telling him like five times to go for the ending. Rough. Let's go, Dragon. I'll do Dragon myself. If they steal it, I'll, I'll use ult. I have a really hard time this game, guys, because my teammates have purposely, like, not ended the game. Like, that's not fun when people don't do this, man. 
I don't get why why my teammates purposely walk away from ending the game. Like we're struggling in this match now because of it. Like both Kha'Zix and Ash are doing it. Purposely walk away from a Nexus when you can just take it down. Like what's the point? I don't get it. I'm full build. I can't even get any stronger anymore. The enemy team isn't full build. They're actually scaling. As soon as they overextend, I'll try ulting the base. I will not surrender. My uh, support is uh, standing there. The clashing of steel. I have heard it all go silent. Hmm. We'll just wait carefully. As soon as there's a team fight, I'm just gonna ult in. Yeah, let's go. I'll be ending the game. There's not much they can do about it. Nice. Hey, this is Pantheon Top Lane. Thanks so much for watching today's Pantheon video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.